Starlink appears to be on the verge of turning on service portability for everyone, a new feature that will let you take your Starlink system on the road with you when you travel. We got the details. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to give you another update on SpaceX's Starlink, and this is regarding service portability. Now, it was just last week that we talked about um, SpaceX turning on mobile roaming, um, focusing on the fighters in Ukraine to let them stay connected while they were traveling around. And, well, it seems that in the process of flipping that switch, they've also seemingly, just over the last few days, vastly expanded the number of people who are getting service portability turned on in the United States. So SpaceX is clearly flipping some switches and enabling some new features. And we believe this is about to transition from an experimental feature where they're just trying it out with a select number of customers to something widespread because it's now actually officially in the Starlink terms of service around how service portability will work. So the way SpaceX is now describing service portability is that you're really you know only guaranteed service at your registered home address that that we've known for sure for a long time now. But now instead of when you leave your registered home address service drops off, if service portability has been enabled, your dishy will connect in other places at a best effort uh, scenario. Well, if there's capacity and um, availability and the service is turned on, it will still connect when you travel, even if you're 100 miles or 900 miles or 1,000 miles away from your home address. Now, this is a, a new major new development, and we're seeing a lot of reports of people discovering that this is turned on on their accounts over just the past few days. It is still not universally turned on yet. We're still hearing reports of people who are trying to take their dishes on the road and not having portability working, but more often than not, just in the past few days, people are discovering they have portability or you know, what has also been called roaming turned on. Um, this is great. It basically seems that Starlink is now kind of setting up two tiers of service. You know, if you're at your home service, you kind of get you know guaranteed highest priority on the network. Um, but if you are roaming or if you are in portability mode, you get this best effort and you are kind of more subject to network management, subject to a lower tier of service that will prevent people from traveling into an area and having the visitors or the roamers take capacity away from the people who are at home. So for nomads, people, RVers and cruisers, anybody who is traveling around, this suddenly makes Starlink a lot more viable of a system. You don't have to go through the hoops of changing your registered service address. You don't have to um, seemingly even cells that are marked as not yet served or at capacity. It seems like people are able to, who have roaming enabled or portability enabled, are able to visit those cells right now, and it is working. So exciting. This is really kind of the game changer we've been waiting for for Starlink. Now, some people are also wondering about, well, what about mobility? What if I want to actually use my Starlink service in motion, not just make it portable? And there is actually some progress happening in that regard as well um, in response to Elon Musk tweeting last week about you know, mobile roaming in the Ukraine. Um, uh, Marcus Tuck has actually modified his Starlink dishy to no longer have the uh, aiming motors engaged, mounted it flat on the top of his RV, and was able to stay connected in the United States for a 100-mile trip with really decent speeds. So mobility seems to have been turned on in the United States as well, although that is actually technically violating a, a SpaceX's license. It's, you're not supposed to be able to do that yet. So we'll see if they manage to disable that workaround of disabling the motors. But Wow, they're, they're clearly making progress both around portability, which we think is on the verge of being rolled out officially for everyone, and mobility, which the hardware is getting and the software is getting more and more capable of, even able to hand off between cells on a vehicle in motion. So a lot of exciting things happening in the SpaceX front. Uh, the, the, this technology is evolving very rapidly. It was just last week we were talking about mobile roaming being turned on. And just last month, we were talking about the first people getting experimental access to portability. And we'll just have to wait and see how much longer it takes before this is official for everyone. But as we said, now that it's in the terms of service, we think that it is basically just a matter of them flipping the switch and we all get access to portable dishy magic. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. 
they make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.